Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I am Alice and I do videos on how to create a perfect curated elegant capsule wardrobe but in a more realistic and sustainable way. And in today's video I'm going to share my own spring capsule wardrobe. This capsule contains 20 items, 22 including bags, and to be honest this is the smallest capsule I've ever created. And this is for very practical reasons. I'm in Switzerland only for two extra months, so I didn't really want to bring an awful lot of clothes that then I had to re-bring back. So I really tried to create an extreme capsule wardrobe. I will show you everything I put in my capsule first, and then I will discuss how I actually put it uh, together to ensure that it was not only beautiful, but also functional. Without further ado, let's get into it. In my capsule I have four shorts, two solid colors and two stripes, one of which in short sleeves, one blouse for more feminine outfits, one polo, four short sleeves knitted tops, I said it before and I say it again, they are great alternative to t-shirts, one navy cable knit cotton sweater, one hoodie, I really love the polar bears on this one, and two wool jumpers in light colors for chillier days. I also have one vest, one dress for fancy occasion, one navy suit, it's more appropriate than the black one for spring, cream trousers and denim, one rain jacket, I really love this one because it has a detachable vest that I can use on its own, so it's two in one. For accessories, I have one pair of sneakers, two bags, a big one for work and a small one for everything else. So to ensure that it was practical, I first looked at my lifestyle. Normally what happens on a regular week is that I do work in an office five days a week and it is a, let's say, business casual office. It's an office so you still need to be, you know, put together enough but it's not a super formal only suit kind of office. And then during the weekend, I really do super casual activities. I do not have any fancy event plan in the next two months. So because of that, um, my capsule consists mainly of office appropriate items and then I have a couple of very casual items for the weekends. I do have one dress just in case an event pops up but the reason why I chose that specific dress is that it is um, a very easily dressed up and down dress. Now normally I would also look at the weather, I didn't do that at the moment for the simple fact that it's spring and spring is very variable by definition so I didn't even bother to look at the weather, I simply tried to have a little bit of everything and that's why you saw especially my tops that we arranged from wool to really like short sleeves top and that is necessary to be honest today it's almost 30 degrees tomorrow the weather forecast says that it's going to be 10 degrees so you kind of need that versatility but of course i wanted my capsule wardrobe to be not only functional but also really elegant and cohesive now it does help the fact that uh, i do have a more classic elegant style so almost all of the items in my own wardrobe are anyway on that direction but the reality is that even if you have a lot of uh, very beautiful, elegant and refined pieces, but that do not mix and match with each other, the outfit you're going to create with those elegant pieces are not going to be elegant because there is no cohesiveness in the outfit. So because I'm working with a smaller wardrobe, for me it was very important to be strategic with the colors and patterns I was bringing. And that meant that I basically really narrowed it down to all basically only white and blue or anyway something in the chromatic scale of blue and navy, like what I'm wearing now. And then I had just a little bit of pink, soft grey and black, just to have that little bit more of a variance and interest, which are anyway colors that go very well with both white and navy. Normally for spring, I would have a little bit more of colors and patterns in my capsule wardrobe, but again, this was a very small wardrobe, so you have to be super strategic. And that was it for today. I hope you enjoyed this video and you find it interesting and maybe helpful. If you did, please let me know by giving me a thumbs up and maybe consider subscribing to my channel. I would really love to have you back. Until the next time, stay safe and bye!